Welcome back to my corner of the internet, guys. I am the Lucid Dream, and on this one, we are going to be taking a look at another member request. This is Lucky Laptop News, and I don't know what to call this guy. Uh, he is um, something. So he's definitely something. I don't know what, but definitely something. So we are going to be watching <laughs> not just one video, but a couple of different ones, some of them not in their entirety. And the reason being is the, the video that caught my eye this morning was called Car vs. Cow. And I was terrified before I even hit the play button. Um, thankfully, this man is absolutely unhinged and did nothing but film the darkness and the police lights for an hour and then post it to the internet. So there is no carnage. I appreciate that. But it the, this, this, this guy is something. Uh, first and foremost, thank you so much to all of my channel members and subscribers. Uh, again, I would not be here without you and every day. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get into it. Hi, everybody. I know it's kind of dark, but we have a car versus cow out here on North 17. I'm right here at the corner of in Highway in North 17. Let me see if I can get my screen brighter. Well, that's pretty cool. Love the blue lights. We got Midway towing here, everybody. Another one from Midway. My vehicle's stopping. Yeah, I know, it's just more bright lights. I know you guys can only see a blur, but I am out here recording this out in tall weeds and probably getting covered in kicks because I am out in the country. I just think it's funny, y'all. Watch most of these people that go out here and do this, and they're out in the big cities. Again, here I am in a little bitty community out in the country. Dang, that's when I got smashed. Ooh, I don't look good. So they hauled two vehicles away. This was only supposed to have been a one car accident. Back up. Yeah, I've probably lived through here. There's dogs. Oh. Alright, I know there were a lot of cuts in there. Um, however, th when I tell you this was an hour-long video of him doing absolutely nothing but standing in the dark and occasionally making a comment, that that's it. That That's all there was to this video. And the reason I showed you this was because this was the first video he posted this morning. And then another one comes along. So I don't know what happened after the camera got shut off, but I'm assuming it's something because this seems like it happened on the same day. Just, you know, it looks like that is um, very early morning when he is out there in the dark and then the sun is coming up in the next video. So I'm guessing the same day. Welcome back to Lucky Laptop News. I'm going to have a bunch of videos tonight. I'm here to make a complaint. You do realize you uh, threatened to arrest me and ran me off of public access. Yeah, because... Therefore, that, that's enough for a lawsuit. So I want your chief hey. here. Get your chief here. 
That's get your I'm chief here. And if I have to show up Monday, you're not going to like me. That's what I'm telling you're you. You're not going to like me if I have to show up Monday. You, my chief is not going to come. Lucky, I don't think it matters very much because I don't think that man likes you very much to begin with. So you coming back Monday is not a real big threat because uh, what's he going to do? Just not like you even more? Okay. He's not going to come in tonight. That's what I'm saying. I'm, can you please just let me talk? Why no, not? no. You've done ran me off well, of a public area. I'm going to get you my done, leave. You've okay. done uh, violated my First Amendment right. I'm trying you to done violated you you've done violated me. You've done violated my rights. You're a right violated tyrant. Please let me You're talk. a tyrant. I'm trying to you're tell a tyrant. you what ordinance you broke. And you're you nothing broke. but a tyrant. What ordinance? You broke disorderly conduct. That is no, I did not. Yes, you me did. protesting is not disorderly conduct. Do you want me to show it to you? Uh, do you want to know how many times that people protesting have been taken to court over that and has been proven that it is not in the Supreme Court? Okay. Supreme Court. Here, disorderly conduct, section 210.221. Okay. That is an ordinance of the city of Will Springs. Okay. Now... He was obstructing either slightly or together with other persons. The flow of vehicle, vehicular or pedestrian No, I traffic. wasn't. I was on the side of the road. Can you please let me talk? No, Can you're you? just cop explaining. Okay. You're cop explaining. That's all you're doing is cop explaining. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and just listen to you. Well, how about you don't violate people's rights, mother motherfucker? Right there for you. Right there for you. I'll go write you for disorderly conduct if you don't leave. Right Flipping now. me off is not disorderly conduct. That Flipping fits, you off is not disorderly fits. conduct. No, it is not. It has been backed by Supreme Court. I think you need to learn your law, sir. Okay, on disorderly conduct, if somebody makes an obscene gesture at any city official. Like that? Yes. Okay. I'll okay. Hang tight. I'll go right. Okay. This is an angry little man we have here. Uh, I'm assuming what happened just from what he's complaining and screaming about. He was on the side of the road for that accident. Eventually, an officer came up and said, hey, you can't be parked out here in the dark in the middle of the night. And, and for no reason, you need to move along. And uh, it, things went downhill from there. So for whatever reason, he decided not to record that, which I find interesting. But uh, I'm, I'm going to take a, a wild guess and say that's what happened between these two. But if he wasn't going to get a ticket before, he's definitely getting one now. No, don't write me a ticket. How about I just come in and I'll put no, a complaint no, on you? No, I'm going to put in a complaint on you. How about that? How about you get your chief here right now, please? I've told you already how to do that. No, I, no, I haven't because you won't right. let me talk. So I want to go write you a citation. So you just hang here, okay? Am I being detained? Yes. Against what law? Against disorderly conduct. City you do realize this is going to get taken out of court, right? Because it is a person. Pers That's or it is a city ordinance and you meet the... Okay, I don't care. Do you realize that it does not... I want to go right Do you here. know that the Constitution is the main law of the land, sir? I'm getting a ticket, baby, for disorderly conduct. So what happens if I leave? Then I'll mail it to you. Can we not do this, please? The, the amount of pathetic he managed to pack into that please is fairly impressive. You're the one doing no, this. I don't want to do this. You're the one doing this. Can I please just come in and put in a complaint hey, on you? If you leave... That's fine. I won't write you a ticket. Okay. All right. But we'll do that. But I am I'm trying to. Can tell I still you that I am really coming in and can put you in a complaint? Please let me tell you how to file a complaint. And then I don't. I need you to. Your, your chief's way. done. Told me how to file a complaint when I talked to him here one, one night when we did an audit here. Okay. Well. And you you, you, you are not doing well. well you know and I'm coming complaint. in Monday. I'm gonna talk to your chief. Okay. And I do have enough for a lawsuit. I hope you know that. Okay. So am I getting a ticket or not? And again, I am being told to leave public property, everybody. That's just how Willow Springs co cops hey, are rolling. No, no, I'm not telling you to leave public property. I'm telling you to quit harassing me. I'm not harassing you. Yeah, you're you in not be you're a just yelling at me. No, that's not harassment, sir. Okay, well, I don't have to sit here and be no, you just yelled at. Then go back and do what your tax day okay. paid for. Well, and I will leave, but I am coming back Monday. I'm talking to your chief, okay, and I'm complaining, in, uh, complaining against you, that's fine. and I'm going to be getting a hold of a lawyer, and you okay. will be seeing me in court. Okay, that's fine. I feel so sorry for this officer because you can tell he doesn't even really want to write him the ticket. He just wants him to go away. That's all. He just wants him to go away. And this moron will not just accept that, get in his car, and go. He wants to stand there and scream and cry like a little girl for no reason. And this officer is just done with him. I really want to tell him, you know, if, if the officer was a tyrant like he claims he is, he would have that ticket already. Chances are he'd be in cuffs. 
if this officer was a was a tyrant and was just out to to hurt him um there would be a lot more to this situation than being told just go home and you don't have to worry about a ticket just leave that doesn't seem a whole lot like tyranny to me. I don't know about you. But, all right, but enough of the yelling at me and flipping me off. Because if you do that again, I will go write you a ticket, okay? I'm being nice and not writing you a ticket, okay? So I have more than enough to write you for disorderly conduct, okay? So if you, if you, if you get need, away from my door i'm getting in the car if you need something I'll help you. i want to put in a complaint and i'm gonna put in a complaint and i hope you know you've got enough for a lawsuit right now do you want me to because that was public access can you please stop interrupting no i cannot because i don't really want to listen to what you got to say because you're just cop explaining and you don't know the no, law I, I was going to ask you if you want me to get you a statement form so you can go ahead and fill it out yeah go ahead i want a statement okay. form i'm going to complain on you okay that's fine I'll go and you all allowed it happen what was your name again sir Officer turnbull 406 Uh, you guys be careful too. Uh, as far as that asshole right there, I'm sorry, but he needs to learn the law. And this guy is his own worst enemy. Uh, I don't know why the video cut so abruptly. That's actually where he ended it. I'm assuming the officer said something that he did, didn't suit his narrative, so he cut it out. But then the next clip is him going off just on a random stranger. Not even a not even a police officer, just random civilian at a car show. Hi everybody. Welcome to Lucky Laptop near to me. Sir, I answer your question very politely. I let you know that we're all press. And you wanna have an attitude, sir? You're going to be a lucky laptop news now. Y'all see this car around town? Don't go near it. He's an asshole. Bye. What'd you say, sir? You're the one who wants to have a problem with me. I was being very nice to you and you want to tell me to fuck off because I didn't answer your question the way you wanted, sir? I'm sorry, ma'am, but your husband kind of just uh, acted a dick. Woo! Let's go see what he's saying. Woo! It's our First Amendment right. I gave you an answer and you didn't like it. You want to tell me to F off? You want to tell me to F off because I gave you an answer you didn't like. So am I off the property or what? Yeah, he's over there videoing my car and me calling me a You're, So what? It's a car show. It's a car show. You're the one that told me to F off because I didn't answer your question the way you wanted to, sir. The entitlement of these people and the amount of main character syndrome that these assholes display on a daily basis is just unreal. Um, he really does think that he can go out in public, treat people the way he wants to, act like an asshole to whoever he wants to, with no repercussions. He has got his panties all in a twist because this guy told him to fuck off. Well, that was his right to say that. It isn't your right to follow him around and harass him for it. There's a huge disconnect here because this has nothing to do with the First Amendment. This is a private citizen. What are you doing? Sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm James, by the way. You're not going to shake my hand, so you're going to be rude to him? Okay, everybody, you see this business? Don't even go here. Fuck you, fuck you too! Don't walk behind me! I'm leaving! This is free, go! Don't walk behind me! Go! Get out! I'm leaving if you don't walk behind me! Okay, I'll stand right here. Go! Don't follow me and quit walking behind go. me! Go! All I was doing was recording somebody, okay. I answered a question, he didn't like it, he wants hey. to tell me to F off, then get rid of him! Calm down, 
and you just need to go, okay? I'm leaving. Hey. Okay. It's all right, man. Just Let's go. Just no, go. you know what? That guy shouldn't have been rude to me off the bat. Hey. And then I tried to shake that guy's hand. He wants to be rude. Do you have a vehicle here? No, I don't. Okay. I'm okay. leaving. So would you just go quick? Quit. The lack of self-awareness in this jackass is staggering. Like he is throwing a massive, terrible twos worthy, toddler style fit, kicking and screaming, stomping his little feet and all over someone being rude to him. Yet he walks around and treats people like absolute crap and wonders why they are rude to him. Uh, someone, someone needs, someone needs to check on this man because there is something not right here. Hey, wait, quit getting up on me, please. We're happy, we're happy you guys are making me feel uncomfortable. You guys are making me feel unsafe. I am feeling unsafe for my safety right now. I am feeling unsafe for my safety right now. Will you please? Back the fuck up and let me leave. Are you the sheriff? No. Oh, no, you're the one running for sheriff. Do we need to call okay, the police? Okay, sir, hang on, hang on, hang on. go ahead, call him. Because I want to actually go ahead and report on him. You've been asked to leave, man. I'm trying to leave, but I don't want to turn around with guys walking up on me. Sir, are you a law enforcement officer? I am a law enforcement officer. You make sure they stand back. Because if anybody touches me as I turn around and leave, I'm going to fucking deck you. There's his license plate number. Hey, you know what? Fuck you, man. You mean like this? Holy fucking shit. So are you guys calling the cops? And so I'm going to wait. Holy fucking shit! Yeah, someone needs to go check on that man, because I am absolutely sure there is a mental facility somewhere with an empty room that probably shouldn't be. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Let me know what you would like to see, and I will catch you on the next one.